we're open pretty much throughout the year. Um, as I said, people can um, come here by appointment, but one of our biggest uh, fundraisers of the year is the Holiday House. So we're decorated for the holidays. We do a whole series of events. Um, some of them are free, some of them are fundraisers to help support our educational programming. Um, but we have several decorators that come in, uh, garden clubs, interior designers, uh, private decorators that come in, and uh, they each take a room and they really do a spectacular job. We have spectacular gardens. We like to take advantage of how beautiful the gardens are. So we do a lot of concerts out in the gardens, um, sometimes lectures out in the gardens. We do do a lecture series that we do inside here, historical topics uh, mainly. We do exhibits of um, art, culture, and history. History. Um, our big opening day is Living History Day, which is always the first Sunday in May. We have historical reenactors on site, vendors, free tours of the mansion, pony rides for the kids, so it's a really fun day. There are a lot of interesting features to the Tenbrook Mansion. Um, it was originally built in the federal style, but there are a lot of Greek Revival elements added. Certainly families lived here for about 150 years, so they all put their own stamp on it. We've got um, some beautiful examples of federal style architecture, like the fireplace here um, with the Delft tiles. Um, but there were a lot of innovations made. We've got bathrooms added on in uh, 1887. So there are a lot of uh, interesting architectural features here, a lot of history. We do also have a lot of historical groups uh, in and around the county that are involved here. Um, right now I'm in the DAR room, which stands for Daughters of the American Revolution. They're very supportive of our organization, and they have donated and loaned us quite a few pieces as well.